Hi guys, my name is Bronson and welcome back to Bam the Shark. And today I'm going to teach you guys how to solve a 3x3x3 three by three by three Rubik's Cube. But before we start, you're going to need to know the parts of the cube. So, the middle is the middle piece and it's never going to change. The side pieces will always be side pieces and the corner pieces will always be corner pieces. And green is opposite from blue. White is opposite from yellow, and red is opposite from orange. Let's get started. So what you're going to need to do first is solve the white side. So you have to find where the middle piece, so you have to find where the middle white piece is. And then what I like to do is solve one strip, the other strip, the other strip, and then the other strip. So let's start with the yellow, so let's start with the white and the green strip. So this is a corner piece with white and green, so let's bring that over here. So we're gonna bring it down Turn it, and then, and then we're going to bring it up. See? So then there's white and green. Now let's find the other corner piece with white and green. Here it is. So let's bring that over right below the spot that we need it to go and bring it up. But we can't bring it up because it needs to go here. So we'll just continue turning that. Then we'll bring it back around. And then, to get it here, we can't just go like that, or else we'll mess up these parts. So we're going to move those parts out of the way, and bring up the white part. And then move the white parts back. So now we have the white and green part. Now, let's go to the white and red. So let's find the middle piece with white and red. Here it is. So, we're going to bring it over here move these parts out of the way and bring it up. But the white's right there now, so let's just continue turning it and then bring these parts back. And then we can go over here and then turn this. But then we notice that this gets messed up, so let's bring it back, move it over there, move this, these parts to the side and bring it up. And then we have red. So now let's find the red and white corner piece. Right here. It's right here. So let's bring it over here. Turn it up. Keep turning it. And then move these out of the way. And then bring it up. And then we can just move it right back there. And now we have green and we have red. So now, let's do blue. Perfect. The middle piece is right here. So we can just move this part out of the way and bring it up. And then we can move it back. So now it's there. And then the white and blue piece is right here. So we can move this out of the way, bring it up, and move this back. And then we have blue. And now finally for yellow. It's right here. So what we have to do is move this part to the side and then move this over and then move it back. Except then the piece that was right here went down there. But that's no problem because then we can just bring it right under the spot that it needs to go, move the already solved parts over there, and then move it up. And then we have completed the white side. So what you're going to need to do is match the middle piece with this part. So let's find the orange part right here. So then we make a small T. And then there's a small T over here as well, a small T here, and a small T here. So now the next step is to solve the middle row. So 
you're going to go to the bottom and find one of these pieces that doesn't have yellow in it. So this part doesn't have yellow in it, so let's move that over here. We need to move it over there because green is here and green's there. So then we make a large T. And then you're going to need to do this sort of algorithm. So we need this piece to get here. So we're going to, this will be our target. So we're going to move it away from our target, move the bottom towards our target, move our target side down, and move the middle towards our target, and then bring it up. And then it's in the right place. But then we messed up the white. So then we'll bring up the one, the piece with the three, and then move the one to the side, move that down, and then move this over. And then we'll have the white back again. So now let's find another one of the pieces. Here's a red and blue piece, so let's find the red side. Right here. So we need this to get here, because there's red and blue, and then red and blue. So we need this here. So let's move it away from our target, move the bottom towards our target, move our target side down, and then move the middle towards our target, and then bring it back up. So now it's in the right place. So now all we need to do is fix the white again. Perfect. So now let's find another piece. So this piece is already there, so it's perfect. And we need this to get to there. So we're going to move it away from our target, move the bottom toward our target, move our target side down, and move the middle towards our target, and then bring it up. And then fix the white. And then we're almost done. So now, here's the blue and orange piece. We bring it to the blue side to make a large T. And this needs to get there, so we move it away from our target, move the bottom toward our target, move our target side down, and move the middle towards our target. And then bring it up. And then we need to fix the white. And then there, we have the middle row solved. The first two steps were fairly simple, except now we need to solve the bottom row. So there should be a pattern on the bottom. There should be a bar, or there could be a hook. And the hook would look like this. There would be one piece here, or one yellow piece here, one yellow here, one yellow here, and one yellow here. If you have that pattern, I'll put the algorithm for that up on the screen in one moment, but I'm going to show you the bar. If you didn't get either of them, then scrabble your cube back up again, and then try to solve, and then, and then do the first two steps again, and hopefully you'll get one of these patterns. And also, if it was like this, and your cube's corners can spin, then you can just move that like that, so then it's the bar. So this is the bar algorithm. Front, clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and front counterclockwise. Then you should have something that looks like this. And again, if it didn't look like this, and your corners can't spin, then unscrabble the cube and then try to do it again and if you get the right pattern and then if you get this right pattern then you're good. So what you need to do is get it into this direction so it's pointing like this way and then a yellow needs to be there so I'm just gonna rotate the yellow to there. So now this is the algorithm. Right clockwise up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, it doesn't matter which way, and then right counterclockwise. And then you should have a fish. So this is the head, and this is the tail. So the head is in the, the head's in the bottom left corner, and the tail's in the top right corner. So, now this is the algorithm for that. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise.
clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, it doesn't matter which way, and then right counterclockwise. And then the fish's head should be up here, and the fish's tail should be down here. But we don't want it like that, so we're going to spin it 180 degrees, and then the fish is pointing here, and the fish is pointing here. So now, this is the algorithm. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up two times, it doesn't matter which way again, and then right counterclockwise. And now, it should, now all the yellow should be solved. And then, see how there's two of the same color corner pieces? Then you're going to rotate that to the, its right side so there's the corner pieces of orange are with orange. So you're going to put that to the back. So with that side on the back, then you're going to do this algorithm. Right counterclockwise, front clockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back two times, and right two times. And now you should have two of the same corner pieces on every side, so you just need to move that to their matching color. But if there's one completed, one whole completed side, if you get that, then you're just going to put it to the back. And the algorithm for that will be on the screen. But if it's like mine and there's not one completed side, then you're just going to do this algorithm. Right two times, it doesn't matter which way. Up clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, and right counterclockwise. And then there should be one completed side now. So now you're just going to put that on the back. And as you can see, if this piece needs to go here, so this piece needs to go here, so then that would be a counterclockwise rotation. And this piece needs to go there, so it would also be a counterclockwise rotation. So, if you need to do a counterclockwise rotation like me, then you're going to do this algorithm that I'm going to show you in a second. Except, if, it's, if you need to turn it clockwise, then you're just going to do the same algorithm as the last one I showed you. So here's the algorithm for the counterclockwise one. Right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, up counterclockwise, and right two times. And then you should have the solved cube.